Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Skull Knight Reacts. Uh, today I'll be reacting to episode 24 of Attack on Titan Season 1. I've just finished from watching episode 23. And uh, let me tell you something. Armin is the MVP of this show. Gotta give it to Armin. Okay, at first he was a scaredy cat. He, he never believed in himself. He was always doubting himself. It's, like I said, like I told you, <laughs> I knew it. Him and Jean were going to get a massive character development. I mean, I know probably this is Erwin's plan, but it was all thanks to Armin, probably, because he's the only one who knew about the the gear. I mean, she, it's, it was shown last episode that she was the one who took Marco's gear. I mean, she probably, I mean, either she just found uh, Marco just dead and took the gear, or she had something to do with his death. These are two possibilities, and I'd really love to know how she got that. I would also like to know her backstory, her side of the story, why she's doing what she's doing. I mean, she's, she genuinely seems like a very good person, and I can't understand how a good person would do all of these atrocities. Another thing is that he was the only one who came like face-to-face -face with her and, you know, connected the dots. He also used the, the, you know, the word that Aaron has, like the only people who, who are in the survey corps know, well, not the survey corps, the, the recruits, like Sasha, Jean, Connie, uh, Reiner, Bertolt, Krista, Ymir, Marco. It was like, I don't know, from the manga, it was so suicidal maniac. That, that's that's pretty much it. So he was the one who used it. And he saw that she reacted. Also the fact that she looked exactly like Annie in the female Titan. So yeah. I mean, you gotta give it to Armin. And like I said, he's the new, he's going to be the new Erwin. Like either him or Jean. Or perhaps they're going to have like complementary uh, leadership. Some, some kind of stuff like this. Mikasa probably, like Levi. And Aaron, well, Aaron is the main character. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into the episode and see how this goes. Because right now, I can already tell it's going to break, like hell is going to break loose within the, the walls. And mind you, this is like the, I don't know if it's like the very center wall or the second center wall. Because this is Volcina. And like humans live there, right? Also, also one other thing is that last time they fucked up because she could call the other Titans in, but now I don't think she can because she's within the walls, so see, she's fucked, right? So her last card, like, she can't access that. But then again, Levi is also hurt, so he's probably not going to be fighting her, which means we're fucked too. So it's probably going to be Eren Mikasa versus the, the female Titan now. I mean, still, I, they can they can put a good fight. They, they they can put up a good fight. I mean, as long as I mean, assuming that Mikasa can blind her, Aaron can do the rest, right? Like he can just like chop off her fucking head off, just like that. I mean, he's strong. You know, so let's just jump right into the episode and see how it goes. Mercy. Flashback several days of Probably, like I said. Come on, tell us what it was Armin. 
我々がオートに召喚される途中で通過するストヘスクだここが最初で最後のチャンスとなる困難になるだろう聞いたか人類滅亡の色が濃厚となる我々はこの作戦に全てをかける<笑>作戦はこうだストヘスクを通過する際は巨人化しても動きを封じることはない exactly what I said back then. だが万が一その前に巨人化した場合エレン君に頼むことになる<笑>はいそれで肝心の目標はストヘスクにいることは確実なんですかああ目標は憲兵団に所属しているちょ,ちょっと待ってください104機ってその女型の巨人と思わしき女性の名はちょっと<笑>しかし、ないことにかけて穴を開けた。めちゃくちゃだけどこうなったら手強いどうしよう体力下がれた立体軌道で素早く出たとしてもその瞬間を狙われるかといって<笑>ずっとここにいてもいつ踏み潰されるかわからない<笑>そうないがなチェーンどうもあねまさかよこんなにまだ兄と戦うこと女型の巨人は最初からエレンの顔を知っていたそれに同期しか知らないはずのエレンの頭が死に急ぎ野郎に反応を見せた何より大きいのは実験体だったソニーとビンを殺したと思われるのが兄だからだあの時兄が出したのはマルコムだだから追求を逃れることができたはあ、何言ってんだどうしてマルコが出てくるわからないありません兄は女型と顔が似てると私は思いますはあ、何言ってんだそんな程度の根拠だつまり証拠はねえがやるんだな証拠がないあんこそなんでやるんだどうすんだからって何もしなければ、yeah. エレンが中央のやつの意見に言えないよ。犯人を疑うなんてどうかしてるエレン、兄と聞いた今、思い当たることは何か I was sick. Wakatir and the show. Megatano Kyojinka, Betna Kanjoga Samatagini Natter. Saxon of Kanga, Kuanita, Sanin to Mosirio. Mikta, Vitini, Twitter. Wakata, but as you are mine. They fucking have to, man. So should you. Oh, no, she didn't. Did she just stomp on air? What the fuck? Dude can't catch a break.
Yep, that's Mikasa. Yeah, she's not like Levi. Oh, fuck. So they didn't sell them, the military police. Whatever. Ah, you pussy. <laughs> well, he doesn't understand what's going on. Yep. Who's <laughs> Mika Saga? Push the fucking shit out of him, wake him up. Learn her again. The animation. <laughs> oh my god. Look at his face. Again. Oh, this one is different. Ooh. Damn, she looks hot. Yeah. So they don't need Aaron after all, huh? Yeah, There you go. Ugh, it's gotta hurt. There we go. Go, man. Punch the fuck shit out of her. Attack on Titan, attack on Titan, attack on Titan. Okay, so they teased us for a little bit here with Aaron, so he couldn't transform because it was Annie. Yeah, I mean, I understand his reasoning because. I mean, I've read some people in the comments said that she was training with him. He's the one who actually taught him the, the move he used on Jean. So maybe he developed a bond with her there. And actually, I've seen her in the anime too, where she was training with him. That's exactly where she told him that. Don't you find it funny that people who are the skill, most you know, skilled combat-wise are the ones who just don't get to fight? 
those who get to fight are the weakest. Don't you find this weird? So she was the one who actually triggered this depth into his personality too. So there's that. So yeah, he couldn't transform, and pretty much it was just Mikasa versus Annie. And obviously, as you can see, it was Annie the victor here. Uh, they tried to do the same thing they did with her within the forest, although this time they didn't have those things that you know that that were you know that go through your through your meat and stuff. So they just had something like this to just get her. But she was able to pull through it like without a problem. After that, again, her versus Mikasa, she won again. And that was pretty much it. Yeah, by the way, Armin tried to do a feint on her. He was like, yeah, if you don't kill me now, you won't have to say that you won't take a bet again on me. That's, that was actually a feint for... Uh, for Jean to come in and you know smack her nape, but again she was protecting. Oh my God, protecting her nape with her hand, with her hardened hand. Yeah, I mean as long as she has that hardened ability, they can't really do shit unless it's Levi. But Levi is can't fight. Can everyone fight? Be a badass too, but then again, I mean everyone is brain so. Probably not a fighter, not like Armin, but uh, yeah. Plus, I don't think they can risk him, you know, going to battlefield like this. <sighs> so yeah, finally, Aaron breaks out of it, you know, breaks out of the cage, and uh, he remembered that Petra, the Levi squad, died because of him. Remember his mom, all the people that died, and he remembered that he's not he's not trying to blame her for those deaths. But that's what helped change transform into the titan he is now and as we can see he's ready to fight and of course because it's attack on titan we have to tease the fucking shit out of you well, we're not going to show you the fight now it's going to be the next episode yeah we're going to give you a whole episode just with flashback yeah by the way i didn't talk about the flashback with armin so it was armin actually who came up with this idea as a desperate attempt to keep Aaron to the, in the survey course and it worked yeah, it, it was true, but so far it didn't work since she's still on the loops. But yeah, no, there's hope. Aaron is a titan, and she's probably going to beat his ass because she's a better, better fighter. Unless he works with Mikasa and probably Jean. Oh, by the way, where's Reiner and Bertolt, Sasha, and Con? Where are they? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even think about this route. Where are they? Were they not part of the plan? Because, because in the in the the flashback that we saw where they were trying to make up this plan, it was just John, Ajin, Armin, Mikasa, and uh, Anji, Levi, and are those the only people who were in on the plan? Okay. Well, shit then. So it was just Mikasa and. Uh... Aaron, because the the other guys are not like let's let's be honest like they can't do shit against him. None of them can. As we can see like all of the Rickon corpse are father, unless it's Mikasa or a Levi, and maybe maybe Reiner because he actually did put up a fight like back then. Ajin can handle himself, but still, I mean, yeah, I've put him around Reiner level there, but still, I mean, they, they're not they can't pose a threat to Aunt Annie. Even Mikasa for Christ's sake, she lost like a, two times now. Couldn't do shit. I mean, it's not because she's weak. It's just because like uh, Annie also is using the the breeze and the the house that she just do this and does this and all the the small debris of the buildings that just hit. Because it's really hard to fight like that. And perhaps if they were in the forest like last time, maybe she could put up a good fight. But yeah. So, next episode is episode 25, which is the last episode of season 1. And like you guys told me that I should watch it until the end for some Um Also, that I will also be doing uh, Levi and... Oh, just Levi. The Ovas. Uh, Levi's backstory. I'm really curious to see how he became how he is now. I mean, the dude is on fucking steroids, for Christ's sake. He's not a human. 
And what's more, he's just short. He doesn't look like he has muscles or whatsoever. Like, what the hell is up with this guy? I mean, Mikas, I understand. She's taller than average. She's ripped. Annie, well. She's, I bet she's ripped, you know. We take her clothes off. But yeah, damn it, man. Episode, next episode, that'll be good. Gonna see some good fighting, I guess. So yeah, guys, see you on next episode. Leave a like if you like, subscribe for more, and please support the channel. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.